everyone and welcome back to vlogmas 2022 um, well uh, i just had some content creation work in the morning and i have to attend some event in the evening but for now i have a spare couple of hours before uh, school pick up so i thought i would come and see this gorgeous jaw-dropping display at Harrods. are you ready this is it welcome to the fabulous world of dior I guess the idea behind it was to turn Harrods into the world's biggest gingerbread house. In the center you can see this huge, ginormous uh, compass star. Uh, it's covered with roses. And there are like waves or something. Um, and actually there's the ship sailing somewhere. I just love how they decorated the facade this year. It's just so beautiful. So I showed you the facade and let's have a look at the window displays. And this is the main entrance, you guys. It looks like it's made of uh, gingerbread cookies. It's so, so pretty. I just wish we had the snow. Let's have a look at some of the window displays. I love this one, because it looks so edible to me. <laughs> it's like a biscuit stacked together, and they look like Christmas trees with their perfumes and the stars on top. Looks so yummy. Again, cookies, one more. Um, gingerbread building with the perfumes and flowers for the baby Dior they have this um, display it's like a dollhouse in the shape of a star um, there is this cute bears and miniature dresses and furniture it's really really cute this display dedicated to Miss Dior that's the one thing I own from Dior <laughs> This is so funny, but I really loved it. This perfume, it's really nice. I think it's a classic one. Oh, there's even a bigger bottle. I like it. Nice. This display is for their homeware, and as you can see, there are real plates and uh, gingerbread plates as well. There's one more display over here. Whole Harrods building. All their windows. And now have displays of some Dior products, whether it's bags or clothes, uh, perfumes, beauty. This is insane. I think this is the biggest display I've ever seen. And this is how it looks like up close. Uh, it has a texture and it actually feels like a real gingerbread cookie. So that is why it looks so real. But actually, there is more to it. It's not only the pretty facades and window displays. There is also an exhibition. And I happen to book free ticket for myself to visit, so let's go.
now I'm in chocolate hall and I just love this place so much. Look how many bars of chocolate they have. They even have chocolate hearts. Hearts has their own advent calendar. Somehow I never noticed that before. Mm, wow, it's so heavy. Oh my god. Oh, this one as well. This is what's inside the calendar. Um, some candies and the price is 20 pounds. So this red advent calendar has chocolate candies inside and the price for this one is 30 pounds. This is Harrods food hall. Again, very dangerous place for me you guys. The pastry always looks good. Um, yeah, oh my goodness. I told you it's a very dangerous place for me. In the center there is this coffee bar and also you can buy here some coffee and tea. There are lots of different ones. Like, look at this. <laughs> look at the stand. Again, for me, Harris is the place to buy gifts. So yeah, I just love their packaging. Look how gorgeous it is. It's a perfect gift. Also, there is a whole section for British lovers and royal family lovers as well. Oh, this is nice. Look at this shortbread tin. Um, the price is 12 pounds, but it's gorgeous gift, isn't it? Here we have Christmas section. I'm sure they have the same as they had last year. Um, I have a video about it, but let's let's check it out quickly. Again, advent calendar. I don't remember seeing it last year. Maybe I didn't see it. Maybe it's new. Oh, actually, there is one more. I don't know how I missed it last year. So this one has this tiny little bears inside. Looks nice. And what's the price? Let me check. The price is 15 pounds. It was amazing, you guys. Did you see it? Oh my god, I'm in the, I'm in the Christmas mood now. Um, so yeah, I highly recommend you to visit Harris this year. Even if you don't plan to shop here, um, even if you don't own anything Dior, I mean, what do I have? I have only Dior perfume, but that's okay. It's just, it's just like magic. You, you have to see it. It's unbelievable. It's incredible how they did all those little cookies and they stuck them together and they made those houses, so those buildings. It's just really, really magical. Santa's busy saying ho 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 We're feeling jolly eating Christmas cake And then we go skating on the frozen lake Saying Honestly, I feel like today was the worst day to go out at all But, you know, what you, what you can do I, I booked tickets and I needed to take some photos And actually I need to go back to Seven Dials Because I forgot to take another one it's a rainy walk for me. So I just stumbled upon this Christmas light and this gorgeous, gorgeous Christmas facade. I mean, look at this. Oh, wow. This is so pretty, you guys. Oh my goodness. Wow. That's a hair salon. That's okay. Thank you. So, so beautiful. Oh, look, there's a thief. I hope that's okay. I'm standing in the middle of the road, but I just have to show it to you. So, as you can see, it's made of roses and poinsettia. You know, this Christmas flower, that the one that's, the one that's poisonous for your cat. <laughs> um, there's holly as well. And lots of lots of gifts. And as usual, the whole street is decorated with these Christmas trees and this is the Christmas lights, these beautiful snowflakes, I hope you can see them. I'm just passing by this Bibenzum flower shop and look how gorgeous. This is the reef selection. Let me know which one you like. I think this one with the red ribbon is quite classy, right? And I actually like this one, this feathers, it's really interesting. Let me know which one you like the most. 
so the rain has stopped for a minute and I just realized it's a walkable distance for me to go to see uh, the Ivy Chelsea Garden display so I'm gonna show it to you and yeah just I was just passing by this church and I saw the coffee shop inside and I know some of you find it weird but for me it's just so nice to be able to go to the church and then have a coffee or tea afterwards and also they have a really nice garden next to it just let me show you the colors how peaceful it is to have a walk in here this is just unbelievable autumn this year is very very late i enjoy it i really do this is the name of the cafe inside the church cafe portico see they serve breakfast homemade soup bread or toasties this is nice right the cakes and ice cream and this is so cool this is how it looks like and the tables um, over here there's somebody sitting there oh, i don't want to interrupt anyone and the rain is back again <laughs> This is the display, you guys. Um, I love how Ivy always decorates their facades. It's always so pretty and so festive. I hope I didn't make you bored by showing you so many different displays, but there's another one uh, from Peggy Porsche. It looks very cute and lovely. I love the flower wreath and the big one on the side and there's a basket with the flowers and another leaf here also they have a Christmas tree in there and a pink sleigh <laughs> it looks very nice love this place so rain number three or four or five has stopped for a minute and um, now I'm on my way to the tube station and I'm going to Seven Dials and then the Covent Garden again 